coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Virginia, Virginia Tech is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 34. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. About four yards in the counter to the halfback. Ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 49 yard line, it's third down. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made by the 36 yard line. Interesting call here by the offensive coordinator to go with the screen pass. It picks up the first down and gets the defense again. Another thing to think about to slow them down maybe later in the game with their pass rush. the 33-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. at the 20, and he's tackled around the 17-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got the tight end again. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tackle right around the 20. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Back five, back five, three, nine. Throws it and it's tipped away. Tenth play of the drive. see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. It's first and goal. Ball on the five. Tackle that a decent pickup. That brings him second and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And they'll bring him down behind the line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. A 13-play, 65-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Around the 21 yard line. From their own 21 yard line. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 22. And he's looking for more. He steps out around the 27 yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The green wave in front, 7 0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Jackson awaiting the return. He drops it. He just couldn't pull that one in cleanly. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably would anyway. Tulane he is up seven. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. He's taken down at the 42. Really, there's not much more the defense could do. Here. They have outstanding coverage. It's just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. From the 42-yard line, first down. There he goes. Fumble, loose ball. The defense falls on it. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down and five. Ball on the 17-yard line. Tulane's going to use their first time out of the half here. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good gain for the offense. to the 40, the 50. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First and 10, let's see if they can build off that great run. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 
The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball. It was incomplete. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 32. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tulane is up a score. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Gets out to about the 37-yard line. <laughs> Quick pass. Right down around the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line. First down. going to run. Big play, and it's first and goal. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Fires in there. Got it. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A nice five-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. made around the 32-yard line. Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. The 36. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it from their own 36-yard line. Second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line.
slings it. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 27. First and 10, all on the 27. for it all to the end zone. Dropped. Tulane's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he almost has the INT. down now they need to get it to the 17. They bring him down. I mean it's an offensive lineman this is the worst thing that you want to see is your quarterback not only getting sacked but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Tulane's out of timeouts. Chucks it downfield. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. He airs it out. Missed him. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 14-0, Green Wave. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Well, as an iconic figure once said, that escalated quickly. Got away a little bit from this team that's supposed to be in control of the game and now suddenly they aren't. And David, we, we say this every week. We say this team has to go into the locker room, make some adjustments. They have to change things, have to give a big speech. What's the most important, the most impactful thing that this team could do in the second half to turn this game around? Well, I think you, you come into half and you do have those all those great speeches and you, the coaches do try to get you fired up, but then you realize that you just got to execute. And, and I think you don't come in as, as a favorite, as a more talented team and panic, and that's something that you can't do. So I think the second half, you come out and you try to get some positive things going. You try to get some first downs. Stop thinking about getting the 14 points back right away. Start putting drives together. Then you get points. Then you're down, you know, seven points or if you're down one score. You get it more manageable. But listen, when you're the more talented team, you don't have to panic. And I think the coaches tell you, listen, Nothing's changed. The schedule's going to stay the same. We just got to make more plays, less mistakes in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Number 33, deep time. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's tackling at the 17-yard line. Two lanes, the type of team. When you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and the linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence. It's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Quick strike to the receiver. Fumble. It's picked up by the defense. Inside the 30. Tackle at the 24. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Nice run there. Clayton gains about five yards on the run. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. Picked up 
a yard of anything on that run. It's second and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. He throws it. Almost picked off. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it sails right on him. No good. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He gets to about the 31-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle after decent pickup. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. That makes it second and two. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. And they got him for a loss. This guy's out of the stand so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Here's the eighth play of the series. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Third down again. Scramble. There's a fumble. Picked up by the defense. He's tackled around the 40 yard line. That's 
that's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. The kicker missed a field goal on the last drive, so the offense is out here trying to turn it around on this one. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. He's taken down at the 37. So with one quarter remaining, Tulane in front, 14-nothing. Runs outside for a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And they get nice yardage on that one. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good, hard running for the first down. Take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, six to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's got it with room to run. Touchdown, Greenway. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 39-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Tulane's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points on. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen, and they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Game seven on the play. That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and three. three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's hit immediately. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want. And he throws right away. Picked off by the senior. Sheds that one. 
when he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 26-yard line, first down. Just under two to go in the game. to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Tulane's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Green nine, green nine. And he carries the ball for a nice game. will take their final timeout. Clayton picks up about seven yards on the run. play of this drive. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 21 to nothing. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.